But we need white babies because white people are under attack. They are hated. The whites are hated more than Satan. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say that, but I speak to my friends and I go, the past two years, especially this administration, yeah. has completely promoted uh, not only like racism, but actually like physical abuse, violence, and murder yeah. against white people. Yeah. And years ago, when I used to listen to people talk about white replacement theory, I was like, that's a conspiracy and the craziest thing I've ever heard. And now I'm like, no, no, they're make, they want to make it normal to not see white people in society. And Absolutely. as we slowly decline, you, it's true. Like TV, billboards, ads. I mean, if you saw like a white straight couple on any, on anything now, yep. you'd be like shocked. Yep. And like, whatever, it still sounds crazy to people, but um, it's kind of scary. And I, and I, I feel it, I notice it. Um, I often wonder, and I talk to a lot of my white friends about this, what is it like, you know, white people founded America, right? They discovered this country, they created the best country on this side of heaven with the help of God. White men founded this country. And then they invited all these other people in, and these people are coming into this country illegally and everything, mm -hmm. and they hate the man that built the country. I'm like, yeah. how do you go to someone's home, they welcome you <laughs> in, you're like, this place sucks. Right. <laughs> You're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You're here. Yeah. Well, that's my thing is like, it sounds so generic, but it's like, you ask people, well, uh, I mean, there was an interview and it was, of course, I mean, I genuinely believe the most racist people in the world are white liberals. Oh yeah, they're helping to destroy it. Yeah, they're right along with it, virtue signaling and, you know, gaslighting everyone in America. But it's funny, it's like, so where's, first of all, if you're in America, I don't think you've experienced much racism. When you go to other countries, yeah. it is very real. And it's funny because it's like, where's better? Where's better than here? Because here, you're treated better than anyone. Yeah. If you're, and also I'm like, what happened to like, no one cares about poor white people in middle America. Most of America's like poor white people. No one cares about them. They don't, they don't even get talk a day. about them, yeah. No, that's like, no one talk, they don't even yeah. exist. Yeah. They go, good. Who cares about you guys? I think that's horrible. But if you say that, they're like, well, they had it easy. Like I've stated online and many times, I don't believe in white privilege. It doesn't exist. It's another made up lie. If it's you say that. It's another made up lie. Oh, it's you're a, a white totally supremacist. Made up lie. I go, what do you mean? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> if I'm a white supremacist, then white supremacists are actually pretty decent people. That's considering right. my best friends are black and my boyfriend's not white either. So I guess we're a pretty tolerant group then, aren't we? That's I'm like, right. what is it? I'm like, my father's 81 years old, drives two to four hours a day, and works five days a week. Amazing. What's his white privilege? Also fought for this country, including his whole family. But I'm like, where is it? Is it real? Can I touch it? Can you prove it? Why do you think, and we play on my radio show, we, uh, uh, we deal with this type of stuff. Why do you think white men don't speak up? Because if white men spoke up and said, no, I'm not your problem, yeah. you know, they give them the finger, there, right? I mean, to be fair, white straight men right now are demonized by society. I mean, you say anything right now, you're losing your job, people are coming after you, your life's being threatened. But if they don't speak up, it's only going to get worse. Well, yeah, why is it on me? I'm like a, a, a hundred pound little white girl right. and, I, and, I, and <laughs> Lord knows how many death threats I get on a daily basis. I go, yeah. why is this on my shoulders? Yeah. You guys need to be men and be like, hey, this isn't okay anymore. I'm tired of everyone being abused. I'm tired of being told constantly, I'm a bad person. I don't deserve anything. I, everything's been handed to me. I'm like, I've been working since the day I got out of high school two to four jobs at a time. I'm like, I'm so sick of hearing about it. And I'm honestly really sick of just the amount of hate towards white people on a daily, which I experience. I mean, is it, my thing is like, I don't understand. Am I not allowed to experience things and then have an opinion on them and then potentially even a bias? Am I not allowed to read data that's unbiased and exists? Yeah. I mean, God forbid you state a crime statistic. like. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I had a job, they'd be coming. Oh, I'd be gone. <laughs> I lost every job I had after I came out as a Republican because that's like the worst thing you could ever come oh, out yeah. as. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as a black person, that happened to me too when I, because I was a Democrat, everyone loved me. Fake love. It wasn't a real deal. Yeah, it's not real. And as soon as I became a Republican, they're like, what happened to you? <laughs> 
Like, you're, you know, you're they, the crazy one. Yeah, they it's think like Larry I'm Elder, the face of white supremacy. I know. You're like, what? Well, it's crazy. And it's that's how all my friends are. They're like, yeah, there's just no winning. But what I don't understand, and I do understand, even though I'm saying I don't understand, white men and white people are afraid to speak up because they're afraid of losing something, right? Yeah. They're afraid of their reputation being destroyed or yeah. they're afraid of losing their jobs. Or, but by not speaking up, they're losing they're those losing things. They're losing the country. Anyway, right, they're losing the whole country. Yeah. And so why not just say, you know what, since I'm going to lose it anyway, I'm going to speak up. I'm why gonna not have some pride? Right. If you're going to go down, go down with something that matters. That's right. Like your job, your assistant job at Netflix. You <laughs> know what right. I mean? It's like, yeah. who cares? It's the fact that, like, I feel like for years I've taken the burden and weight of everyone coming to me, venting their problems. Yeah. And they go, well, you go and say it. Yeah. Why don't you say it? I'm tired of, like, I'm at the point. I respected everyone. I go, stay silent. Do your thing. I get it. You have a job, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I gave up everything. I risked everything. I thought I was gonna have to move out of the state. I can never work here again. But I'm like, why don't you do something? The reason yeah. you're, the reason this is this bad is because you're silent. Yeah. So like 100%. have a backbone, especially yeah. these guys. I go, why don't you, for the first time in your life, be a man? It starts here by saying something. Nice. But Amazing. We'll see, I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, the same thing that happened in South Africa is happening here, mm -hmm. whereas, uh, the whites in South Africa refused to speak up to. They were pressured and pressured. They shut down. Yeah. And so they turned the country over to the blacks. And the blacks are ruling, but the blacks have gotten worse. They have just, it had because uh, evil people hate weak people. It just bring out the mm -hmm. worst in them. And so yeah. in South Africa, as it is here, by whites being afraid they're bringing out the worst in the blacks. Yeah. They're just getting bad, right? Well, yeah, and, we're and so, allowing them yeah, that's to, right. to act this way yeah. when it's like someone needs to check them and that doesn't make you a racist, it doesn't make you a bad person. Well, there's no such thing as racism anyway. That's another made up lie. And But let me just finish this thing. In yeah. South Africa, they uh, the, the blacks took over, they, they, they started taking the land from the whites mm -hmm. without compensation. They're running the government and everything. And now they want to ration the water. They said that white people get the water after the blacks and the women get it. Whatever left over, the white can have some. That's going to wow. happen in America, too, if the whites don't start speaking up. That's rough. Isn't that amazing? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> right? It's evil. And I was going to say, that's actually just horrible. It's pure evil. But I can't believe that the white people know that that happened in Africa, and by them didn't speak, by not speaking of it over there, it's the same thing that's happening here, but yet they won't say anything. No. They won't say no to these people. I don't know how bad, I mean, I can't, it's already so bad. I'm like, how bad does it have to get? It's gonna get worse. I, I agree, unfortunately. It really. Unfortunately, I agree. The uh, conservatives are gonna have to hide behind rocks. Literally. It's gonna be bad, yeah. It's going to get well, worse. I support everyone to uh, protect themselves. <laughs> Me too. However that means. Uh, also, uh, I got to ask this. Uh, yeah. I, racism doesn't exist. It's another made-up lie. Our battle is a spiritual battle between right and wrong. Agreed. Good and evil. And so yep. this word racism is just made up to cover up evil. Mm -hmm. And unless people understand that, it can't get better either. That's, I've been saying this the whole time. I'm like, I'm so sick of all the terms they put on this. Yes. I know this is 100% yep. a spiritual battle. 100%. Good and evil. And unfortunately, if you're not speaking up right now, I think you're kind of part of the, e the evil. You are. Yeah. You're, you're, you're worshiping and going along with evil. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's funny. I, I love that you said that because I was like, this really is a spiritual battle. It is spiritual. They're, and that's, and everything they're doing, they're doing to break our spirits. Yes. And divide us and tear us apart and all these things by putting labels on everything. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I love wow. That. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that's it. Amazing. I love that you get that because like everyone I'm around is like very religious or spiritual and they understand it. Yeah. And I love that. And I'm drawn to those people, and they're drawn to me. And I think it's very important. That's why there will be, I'll be in a coffee shop with 50 people, and if they're like me, we seek each other out. Yeah. We speak to each other somehow. And they're like, oh, you're like one of us. And I'm like, I love it. 
Oh, we're getting amazing. bigger. We're getting bigger by the day. Oh, yeah. It's we're going recruiting. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, another thing that blows my mind, but I do understand it. Uh, right now, a lot of conservative mothers, I guess they're conservative, are fighting with the LGBT folks yeah. about, and they're fighting with the schools because they want to teach the kids the, that stuff, yeah. right? Like they did with the... Uh, Critical race theory? Yeah. yeah. What a mess. Yeah. But my thing is, okay, mothers, you don't want your children to be taught that. Why not just take them out of the schools? Yeah. Stay home and educate the children well, yourself and raise work, the children. Which, right. God forbid you have to work and <laughs> actually do something to help save your children. Yeah. Because public school at this point is not an option. And the public school are going to put that mess in anyway. Yeah. They're going to do it knowing that the parents don't yeah. want it. They're going to sneak and do it. Mm -hmm. they said Which they're, they're already doing. Do they're already doing And then they're telling the parents to shut up and go away and they don't have rights. That's right. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. We pay your salary. But it's just blows my mind that the mothers and the fathers don't love the children enough where the fathers say to the mother, you stay at home. Sorry. Yeah. We're not going to put our children yeah. in these schools. And the fight would be over. Yeah, my it kid's not going to come over. out a communist with yeah. nine genders. Amazing. It's not going to happen. I'll pull them out of school and I'll teach them myself if I have to. And so, but they'd rather sacrifice the children to the school for their own ego, ego pleasure. Yeah. Rather than loving the kids and stay at home and raising the kids. Yeah, it's sad. It's really selfish and narcissistic. That's amazing. So I've said that one of the biggest mistakes that this country made and is that they allow women to vote. I, I'm not going to lie. Ever since we started voting, it's really gone downhill. Wow. <laughs> like, yep. it has. Yep. It's like, what, how are women better off? They're all, like, working jobs, miserable, like, miserable, depressed, single. I don't understand. I would happily give my husband my bank account and not vote. I would assume, as an intelligent man, he's, he knows what's best for all of us. Other than Ann Coulter, you know, she, yeah. you're the only other... Young woman that I heard agreed with that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They all said, like, oh, we would need the right to vote. I'm like, oh. Uh, For what? The, the country going to hell because of that. Yeah, I was going to say. And also, statistically, our happiness ever since we've been able to vote has been on the decline. Yeah. Same with, I think, our health. Yeah. I think we're miserable, fatter than ever, <laughs> on drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Single, can't find a partner. I don't know. I think you should let men lead the country. I, I also... I, look, I believe women should be able to do whatever job in the world they want. I think men tend to be a little bit better at those jobs. Yeah. And maybe even like even like politics. I think that's so much more of a man's game. It is. You know 100%. what I mean? 100%. Yeah, that's 100%. why I don't even feel the need to go into it. I think locally to make a difference, especially if I want to be a mom, I'll get involved with the school boards. Yes. I'll go after them. But I think leave it to the men on that one. Amazing. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I don't I don't have an ego about it. Nice. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um so what's the solution to all of this? How how do we bring everything back to order again? Oof. I don't know. We need like a awakening awakening of spirituality, religion. Yeah. We need to go back to our roots, what was great. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe moving out of big cities. I don't know. People need to be around, like, the ocean and farms and land and animals and all these things. And I just think everything here is meant to just break us. Yeah. Um, I think having a sense of community is really important. That's why I'm, like, working on a lot of projects now where I can reach people all across the country, um, help educate them so we cannot let these uh, dictators do what they did again to us. Um, I don't know, though. It's hard because our voices are so suppressed. I mean, every time I post, I just assume it's my last post. I get, take, <laughs> I get taken down. I mean, I said, hi, my name is Emily, and got taken down for hate speech. Really? I go, oh, say my name is hate speech now. Meanwhile, you know, a, yeah. a, a trans activist will tell me how they're going to decapitate me, and I report that, and Instagram goes, no, it's fine. It's fine. I go, okay. 